Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, AEDC fully confined uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AE is uh, six units, and likewise uh, this uh, segment CD is uh, six units as well, and moreover, this segment uh, EB is nine X whereas this segment uh, BD is uh, 2x and finally this uh, hypotenuse AC is uh, 13x and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, right triangle abc we are looking at uh, this uh, big uh, right triangle abc minus uh, the triangle uh, ebd area we are talking about this uh, small right triangle ebd so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of this triangle uh, EBD as well. So therefore we must find the value of uh, X first. And now we are going to focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now we can see if this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AB is going to be 9X uh, plus 6 the sum of these uh, two individual lengths and likewise uh, this whole uh, length BC is going to be 2x uh, plus 6 so I can write this one as uh, 2x uh, plus 6 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our two legs are 9x plus 6 uh, and this leg is uh, 2x plus 6 and its hypotenuse is 13x so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so therefore we are going to have a 2x uh, plus 6 uh, whole uh, square plus likewise uh, 9x uh, plus 6 uh, whole uh, square equal to 13x uh, whole uh, square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square we are going to apply this identity on both of these uh, binomials on the left hand side so therefore we are going to have 4x square plus uh, 24x uh, plus uh, 36 and plus likewise uh, 81x uh, square plus uh, 108 uh, x uh, plus uh, 36 uh, is going to give us uh, equal to 169 x uh, square and now let's combine the like terms and now we are going to move all these uh, terms uh, on the other side let's combine the like terms once again so we are going to get uh, 84 x square minus 132 x minus 72 equal to 0 and now I am going to divide by 12 across the board I am going to divide each and every term by 12 so therefore we are ended up with 7x square minus 11x minus 6 equal to 0 so therefore we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping uh, and factoring and you may solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula as well and now let's multiply these uh, numbers 7 times uh, 6 don't worry about this uh, negative sign so therefore I can write uh, 7 times uh, 6 and now we can see 6 could be broken down to 2 times uh, 3 and now let's multiply 2 times 7 is going to give us uh, 14 and then uh, I'm going to write down this uh, 3 and now we can see the difference of these two numbers is going to give us uh, 11 
so therefore we can tweak this middle term as negative 14 x plus 3 x as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this negative 11 x by this and here we can see between first two terms uh, 7 x is in common and between last these two terms 3 is in common so therefore I can factor out 7 x uh, so we got x uh, minus 2 and here I'm going to factor out 3 so we got uh, x minus 2 equal to 0 and here we can see x minus 2 and x minus 2 is in common so therefore we got uh, x minus 2 times uh, 7x uh, plus 3 equal to 0 and now we are going to separate these factors so therefore we got uh, x minus 2 equal to 0 and the other factor is 7x uh, plus 3 equal to 0 for this equation x is going to be equal to positive 2 for this equation x is going to be equal to negative 3 divided by 7 and since uh, x represent the side length so x equal to negative uh, value is not uh, feasible so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 2 so thus our x value turns out to be 2 so therefore our this uh, segment e b length is going to be 9 times x value is 2 so that is going to give us uh, 18 and likewise this segment b d is going to be 2 times x is 2 that is going to give us uh, 4 so therefore uh, this uh, whole uh, a b length is going to be 6 plus 18 is going to give us uh, 24 and likewise this uh, whole bc length is going to be 6 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 10 and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, right triangle abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case the base of this triangle uh, abc is uh, 24 and the height uh, is uh, 10 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so we got 1 divided by 2 times our base is 24 and height is 10 and if we simplify that is going to give us 120 and now we are going to calculate the area of this smaller right triangle EBD and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times height and in our case uh, the base uh, of this triangle is uh, 18 and the height uh, is uh, 4 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle EBD is going to be 18 uh, times uh, 4 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 36 and here's our final step let's recall this uh, equation once again green shaded area equals to the area of triangle ABC minus the area of triangle EBD and here we found out the area of triangle ABC as 120 and the area of triangle EBD as 36 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got 120 minus uh, 36 and that is going to give us uh, 84 so thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 84 uh, square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye